Welcome, 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 welcome everybody to a brand new grand spanking edition of the Glen Tendo Circuit. Welcome to Tuesday 200cc. It's in the name, our new format, 12 races now from 7 to 8 p.m. 200 CC. If you want to watch all your favorite Smash players as well <laughs> as professional Mario Kart players uh, just eat shit constantly while me and Chris Elodian here laugh at them, you've come to the, right, the right, place, right place, my friends. And it's not good because I ate a little bit of Thai, two helpings, I should say, of homemade Thai food before we started this. So I'm while this stream is going on, I am probably going to shit my mm, pants, guys. Nah, it's nah, probably gonna on, happen. You don't have to taint the 200cc like that, dude. We're just getting dude. started. 200cc is gonna make me crap myself anyway. You didn't gotta, it's terrifying. You didn't Look at Kunio right now. He's zooming. Yeah, I'm glad Kunio is uh, sticking out because 200cc is a totally different format. Uh, definitely, just because you're good at 150cc does not mean you're going to be good at 200cc. That is that is for sure. Um, yeah. And I think a lot of people realize that because there isn't a whole lot of people streaming at the moment. Not yet, anyways. And I think it's because it's probably a little intimidating. Um, right now, though, what I can tell you... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, my God, is that... I don't want to... Hold on. Until I confirm... Oh, my God. You'll... Want to know who's streaming right now, Nintunist? Who is streaming right now, Chris uh, Lodeon? The hero, Kugi Kooks. What? Oh my god! He is the, actually the last person I expected yeah, to have I wanted to jump into this. Yes, I'm, I'm glad. I hope maybe this is like a, that little bit of reinvigor you need. Something a little bit different. Um, oh. You know, just try just try something else different. And, and this is different because we tried battle mode. We tried um all the things really we uh let's see battle mode a couple weeks we did uh teams and then yeah we tried a bunch of different well not a bunch we've, we've tried a handful of formulas and they're just not always appealing you know uh you don't always just yeah. want to grind but in this case <laughs> you do okay. baby rosalina oh my god baby <laughs> rosalina wasn't he originally a rosalina he uh, was he was he was a uh an uh, adult uh quote-unquote normal Rosalina player. This was uh, Rosalina before she uh, went to the stars and abandoned her family. I guess he's just, since, you know, 200cc is like not the typical competitive format, he doesn't really have to play his typical competitive main. And that's probably better, actually, in real shit, Chris Elodian. It's probably shit. more optimal. Because now, like, his top speed isn't going to be so, so fast to the point where he's not going to be able to control himself, which is already too hard Dude, with 200cc. This looks so fast right now. It's so crazy the difference. Don't blink. Don't blink, bro. Seriously, look how quick, like, especially Rainbow Road does it. A lot of justice, dude. Yes. Look how quick those rainbow tiles are moving. Very <laughs> fast. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to see. This is a true, this is a true man, this is a true man and a true woman's Rainbow Road right here. But you saw Kooky Kooks. He was already going around one corner and he had to break. If he was playing Donkey Kong like he normally does, with that top speed, he probably wouldn't have even been able to do that. He probably wouldn't have had the chance to break. He would have still been in the air. He would have still been going too fast because the heavies have a faster top speed. And you kind of don't really need that top speed as much in 200cc because of how just stupid fast you are in general. Race, race is already over. Dude, already that over. is insane. This, dude, this is going to be like a half hour long, but that is Kunio taking first. Takamart second, you in third, man. Uh, this is like a totally different adjustment. This, this whole... It's a different game in Tina. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a different, a different game. I, I told I told Glenn. You, you, gotta, you gotta put more races on the 200cc. Yeah, th this is it's th too fast. <laughs> it's true, man. It's it's true. I think uh, we're probably gonna end up... I think 16 races is probably the way to go for this. I wholeheartedly agree. And here we have Knight looking like he's changing his name right here. But, oh, no. Whoa. Wait, what happened? Oh, d disrespecting the org. He just deleted Pirate Hackers Yo. from the front of it. Well, I don't maybe, know why he... D maybe he just doesn't want, like like the pirate hacker crew to see him constantly just crashing into shit because it's 200 cc maybe do you think he feels do, do pirate hackers feel shame like that uh okay. they already they already feel the general shame that society bestows upon them for being hackers and uh also being true to themselves and pirates which is two things that uh don't normally mix together Yarr. i mean we've had this conversation before where if uh guy came to your house dressed as a pirate because there was something wrong to your computer. You said you'd be fine with it. I remember that. Me, I, I mean, I'm, I don't I'd really be honest. Judge, I'd be I don't really judge people, though. Chris, you know? can you shut, shut up? I don't really judge people <laughs> if they're wearing pirate outfits wanting to do stuff. Have you ever seen the movie Dodgeball? Is that, is that a reference? Of course I've seen Dodgeball. That's that all guy I'm thinking a, about when I say this. <clears throat> is a guy that, yeah, that guy was a pirate all the time. He was in gym. Steven? Dude, it's fun seeing a baby on the screen and not just seeing, like, the usual 
characters on the screen. Yeah, this is all just stuff that we let babies do. This is just you know, a child a in, in a go kart. Um, yeah, honestly. Yeah. That's, uh, if you ever listen to uh, Brennel Floss and his with lyrics videos, he made it with lyrics for Mario Kart 8. Cool. And it was just really funny. He was like, this is all shit that we let fucking babies do. Like, it was it was pretty funny. It's a funny video. But anyway, <laughs> first lap is already over. I don't even know how fast that was. Kugi hanging back in eighth place right now. That could change in just the blink of an eye. Kunio doing a pretty good job up and forth, but it's looking like EO. Oh, no, he actually passes EO. And up at the front right here, I can't tell if that's second. I think that is second I is believe dark. That is second. Yeah, that is dark. Yeah, it's dark up there. Uh, Probably with the blue Yoshi. The turquoise Yoshi, I think. Wait, no. Wait, no, no, no. no. He's playing... No, the Yoshi is all the way at the front, so yeah, they, it's not dark. And I'm not sure playing Waluigi. I'm not sure who the Yoshi Waluigi. is. Um, and I'm also curious if other people have changed their mains for this mode. Obviously, Kunio hasn't. Um, also, I know Knight is a, <laughs> a a regular to Inkling. Oh, what did I miss? I just, no, it's just Kugi. He was just he just he just flew into the wall. It was just funny because he was in the air and the water slowed Dude, him down. Dude, this is this is lap three. I'm I'm a little intimidated. Dude, I've, I'm I'm I've never been more intimidated by a baby in my life. Here he goes, and that is Kugi finishing 8th place, and uh, as opposed to Kunio's... Oh, actually, I thought that was going to be 5th for a second. I thought that guy next to him and the Waluigi passed him. Looking like that's not the ah, case. Dude, uh, that is... Knight put PH in front of it again? Did he just switch it? It probably... Like, dude, you know Mario Kart. It probably just didn't adjust. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he changed it and because he has to probably restart the game. You have to restart this game to, to get the scores. Like, I'm sure if you change your tag, it's probably going to just not happen. There's a lot of Switch games that you have to restart in order to make them good games. Crazy. But anyways, uh, yeah, that was Fate with the, with the Light Blue Yoshi. So okay. I, yeah, because Fate usually uses Waluigi, if, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and I think Dark was using Waluigi, so I don't. They just switched for some reason. I don't know exactly why they did yeah, that's that. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. You're right. Yeah, that's why it was confusing. Yeah, Dark is usually the he was playing the Navy Yoshi. You're totally right. They definitely planned that. Dude, I wonder. This is probably the, the whole hacking thing. Oh my god, the Portland Hackers! It's probably. I this could. Track, I could only speculate. I'm nervous about this track. Has tight turns. You're about to see one. Not even just the one that's up in front here, but the one after that. You know the U-turn I'm talking about before. There's the ramp. I'm very anxious to see how Kunio is going to be able to get around this. This is the one I'm talking about. Uh, looking like he actually braked beforehand. Oh my god! To make sure he had enough speed to Meanwhile, do that. Meanwhile. Kugi's flying all over the place. Well, you, I don't know if you saw do? that. I don't know. He just skipped like a pebble on, on like a pond when you throw it. Wow. I, I wonder if that's like, yeah, I don't know what the baby mechanics are like in 200cc. If like the lightweight just makes you sort of fly around like that, but it looked like he sort of just jumped over everything. We could watch him again because this lap is going to be over in, in no time at all. I, I didn't even think about that if I was being completely honest about how the like the baby characters like or the, the lighter physics? characters would yeah. change the meta. Yeah, yeah, because the physics, I mean... You know, they are the same, technically. It's just your cart itself is just that much faster, so it's a different thing. Here, he's just going to jump because his, like, speed is just going to be quick enough that he's not going to be able to, uh... That he's not going to land on the grass. But the thing is, it makes total sense. Because, like, obviously in the normal game, you know, the heavy characters are better because they have the best top speed, and then they just, obviously, they're faster. The quarrel with that, or, like, the difference between them and the lighter characters is that the lighter characters have better acceleration, but they don't exactly have a better top speed. But if I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong here. I think the lighter characters handle better... If the, and if they have better handling and the lower top speed, then that's just completely optimal for 200. Yeah, I mean, you would think um, just it sort of slows the game down without really slowing the game Ooh. down. Oh, my. Um, Dude, he's, he's moving, man. And these are quicker inputs, too. We've had a lot of, uh, we've had a lot of old smash for you guys right now. We, uh, we melee up in here now. Looking pretty we're, good we're for, for Kugi at the moment. Um, we'll see if he oh could. God. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's, it's Why do I say anything? Yeah, so uh, he's he's good, man. He's big chilling. So there we go. It just finishes uh, that Waluigi. Who did we say was using that before? That was uh. uh it was dark. He dark. Switched yes. With fate. All right. So the, yeah, that is gonna be dark in second. Kunio still coming in third, and Sweet Lou enters the fray, getting fifth. Meanwhile, on the other end of things, oh, I thought I had a queued up already. Well, chalk it up for production flubs. Womp womp. It'd be like that. Now Music Park has got incredibly tight turns, but over here we got Knight finishing fourth over in his lobby, which I believe has fate in it, who's gonna take the first right there. Aiko and uh, also Baby Rosalina as well in that second place, and Takamarth finishing third. Knight's gonna take fourth right there on Electrodrome, and 
That was the last lobby before. I mean, I'm gonna see what they have here instead. This is the Knight voice now. Knight professional Mario Kart player. We have had him on the show before. Go ahead and give him, uh, give him a follow on his Twitch if you'd like. Looking like he's gonna switch to the Purple Inkling here. Sticking with the same cart. Don't go Rainbow Road. Oh, thank God. Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that track. Especially, like, at this speed. You don't want to be doing that. Like, but that's what I'm like, saying. Let's just be cool, you know? Like, let's, just, let's, let's chill. Let's chill. Oh, my God. I mean, I'd love to see it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I like watching people bump into stuff. I mean, Charlie, Charlie the King is here. I would love to see him do that is because he... he called me. I think he's uh, second in the lobby right here. Is That's him, right? At the second one? Oh, yeah, it Cora. might be. It might be. Well, I can't tell because he's... Yeah, uh, uh, e... No, that was fate. Never mind. I was wrong. I lied. Oh, yeah, that's not... That's not His me thing. just looks exactly well, the same. here's Rainbow Road. Um, at least it's not the, like, one of the... Rainbow Road that kind of steals your soul when you fall off of it. A little bit more forgiving, this Rainbow Road, and also a little bit less cute as the other Rainbow Roads, but we accept it for what it is. You think so? I, I feel like this Rainbow Road eats people alive. Like, see, if you can't even, like, watch. He's gonna get the full boost here, and he has to break. <laughs> he had no option but, but to yeah, break Yeah, you know, right let, me, let me... Let me see. Maybe I'll eat my words. I just feel like, uh... The original Rainbow Road, especially the one from, like, uh... The Super the Nintendo. SNES, the SNES one? Yeah, like, that thing is so stressful because it's very short, like, uh, straightaways, and also it's just, like, th those turns are literally 90 degrees. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's like, like <laughs> it's a very square track. Yeah. Good it, point. Yeah, so that that's, like, mostly what I was referring to, but, um, you know, obviously, this Rainbow Road does have some parts that make it uh, not so great. Slow and steady pace, Cunio. <laughs> Slow and steady do, pace do wins the race. Him? No, of course I don't blame him. It's just funny how, like, the meta shifts so much because of, like, 200cc. I'm telling you, is it actually only 50cc is faster than 150? Because it looks visibly faster. It looks a lot faster. It's, like, uh, it's, like, surprisingly a lot faster. Because I can't even say the last time I personally played 200cc. Right. Um... All I can tell you is that watching this after watching Mario Kart every week as we do is, like, it's kind of tripping me out. Yeah. But, it, but in and a I good think, way. Um, no, I totally get that as uh, Kugi finishes first over in his race in his lobby with uh, Dark behind him in third, Sweet Lou in fifth. Uh, it's, you know, I say that. I say, is this really 50 cc's or only 50 cc's higher than 150? But the thing is, you know, we've never seen 100 in a very long time, and I've seen 100, personally, a little bit before, because I remember one time nobody was online for Mario Kart, or I just wasn't in the Discord or whatever, and I just wanted to play Mario Kart, so I went on to Quick Play, and Quick Play in this game, it's defaults to 100cc, like, you can't really change it, and, uh, as, uh, Knight finishes second over in his Rainbow Road Race, so 100cc, it felt and looked noticeably slower, so I think the differences are more stark for all of them than they really appear. Because when when was the last time any of us have ever played 50cc? Uh... 50cc? The only when you try to unlock, like, the things. Exactly. You know, what, you know what I mean? Exactly. When you actually play 50cc after 150 and then after 200, 50 is just boring. Dude, it's literally just boring 50 after that, is you know? literally a baby game. Okay, yeah. so Darky is uh, number one 200cc, by the way. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming that Darky just is probably a pro Mario Kart player who is just like uh, apparently specialized in 200cc, if I'm if I'm reading that correctly. And I believe it because he did just take first in that last race. So that's um, fine. Man's knows what he's doing. We got ourselves a full lobby here for it, Chris. Look at this. Yeah, you know, you know, I love it. Do I? Do I know that? Should. So Some, sometimes, sometimes I doubt. Uh, F Zero and a very appropriate track. For 200cc, Mute City, ladies and gentlemen. You know it, you love it. One of the staple ones, uh, one of the staple tracks of the F-Zero franchise. You love the music, I love the music. Everyone loves the music. I don't have to talk about that anymore. We're halfway through already. It is 720. <laughs> Dude, yeah, this is and, literally uh, moving out of blazing speed. Yeah, I, I just, this is not, this is not okay. I mean, I, if only Baby Rosalina I gotta had her own game. This particular, so Big Blue, this course, I feel like came along... Did it come this along with 200? City. Mute City. I'm this sorry. is Mute City, Chris. Our, our, okay, oh. okay, 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 okay. The funny part is that Gons would have actually been mad at you for that. So I feel anyway. like <clears throat> this co Yeah, whatever. He's not even here, <laughs> man. He won't even know. Oh. What a wiener. Anyways. So yeah, this course I feel like came out along with like... Dude, look at this. Look how long... Like, he's just sailing. He's just sailing. What the heck? 
<laughs> Anyways, so I <laughs> got to be. It's literally a baby. That's why. Anyways, uh, all right. Where where am I? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm like legitimately disoriented right now. Dude, it's after same. watching that. All right, dude, so it's fucked up. The fact that it looks like upside down too. Oh my god. All okay, I was that one wasn't as all I'm trying to articulate is the fact that this course came out around the time what was it when 200 CC came out too, and I think it was because this was like Nintendo's answer to F Zero, a modernized yeah. but not F Zero. But it's like, well, no, we know the franchise still exists, guys. Here's a faster mode, and you can even race here. Yay! <laughs> it, it's the same thing. It's practically the same thing because F Zero is supposed to move at this kind of speed too, and. Oh, that kind of worked out for Kugi. He didn't get shocked by the lightning. And now, oh, never mind. There's another lightning. What is that? He's surprised too. He doesn't know what happened. I don't know what happened either. That was two oh. lightnings in a row. I don't know if the item distribution is different in 200 CCs or, whoop, there's a bullet bill. Uh, oh, two bullet bills. Look at night oh. at the moment racing. Just touching bullet bills. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they were. <laughs> That's that's awkward. You ever, you ever, you ever touch you ever bullet touch bills? bullet bills, the, dude? I've... <laughs> In Mario Kart, I'm not player. Too, probably not, man. I don't know. No, that's that's kind of that's kind of that's, that's kind of off-putting. Yeah. It's, it's, it actually is. Kinda it's kind of off-putting. I mean, uh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Death Rusher, if you're watching this, I'm I'm sorry. I know we were talking about how F Zero will probably never see the light of day again. Oh yeah, that game pain. is that franchise is done. Chuck, put it right there, uh, right next to. Advance Wars, which is also never to return because uh, that was intelligent system, and now the Fire Room has popped off the oh. way it has. There's no need to have two war games, but that is really sad loss. Fire Emblem's godlike, but it's sad to see that game just go away too. Is it happening, Chris? <sighs> yes, it is. I was really hoping we oh, would get yeah, one of these boy. in these 12 races. This is Here what we, we all came for. This is why the 200cc is the new hot Mario Kart Tuesday actions. Ladies and gentlemen, so we, we got a full lobby. It, yeah. We got a full lobby on SNES Rainbow Road 200cc. If you want to see stars shoot from the sky and then land on the ground and then get picked up by a Lakitu to put back on the track, here you go. I want to see everybody eat shit right now, and I will be very disappointed if people don't. Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, uh... Can't gotta... hit these ramps. Dude, this looks stressful um but everyone's holding on pretty good and it looks like you just take that that ramp pretty normal right if you're going this fast is that ramp? yeah takamarth takamarth just did it did you yeah see him? yeah i don't even need a mushroom because they're already moving quick enough um, oh man that's hype kunio's got balls playing link too i'm not gonna lie i mean i know this is his main but like still i mean with that top speed that's already super fast and then also on 200 you gotta have some pretty he's, quick he's he's fingers moves, some pretty though. good control. he looks he looks good right now he's um, I mean, you know, he's chilling in sixth, but oh, yep, there's that bullet bill putting him in seventh, but he's hanging, he's, you know, he's holding his own. Big air. Yeah, so far so good for all these racers, actually. Haven't seen too many fall off. Oh, as Cuneo almost does right there. He's going to have to utilize his brakes, do a little brake drift right there because he did get caught in the boost of his own mushroom sweet Lou right in front of him. Meanwhile, Kugi all the way back in uh, last place right now. Very uncharacteristic of him, but 200 CC is 200 a different CC, game, like man, you said. Yeah, that's just, that's just what it is. Uh, it's a big adjustment for everyone, I'd imagine. And it's over. Just like that, yep, that is going to be a seventh place finish for Cuneo and a third place finish for Knight, who is kind of versed in the 200 CC, uh, saying that Darky, I believe, probably also a pirate hacker, if, I, if I'm understanding correctly. Uh, and the 200 CC specialist apparently, because that was two first places I think in a row for him, unless I skipped a race in my brain somewhere. But uh, we'll see if he keeps that momentum going. Either way. Either way. Now Bone Dry Dunes have some pretty wonky turns as well. I don't know if we're going to be seeing that. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Water Park is a pretty average course. That's that. That's a pretty tame one for 200 CC in my opinion. Actually, a very good one because uh, 200 CC. I mean. I'm sure you guys can d d can already deduce it, but in case you haven't, 200cc opens up more shortcuts than pretty much any other uh, mm -hmm. speed in this game. It literally creates new ones, and by new ones, I mean ones that you might not even need items for. There are some, like, crevices that you can literally just jump over now because you go that fast, yeah, and that's... one of those is on Water Park, so... 
Max yeah, we got to here. we got to see a little bit of that in the last race with that big jump over the center of uh, the SNES Rainbow Road. But we'll see what it does for Ice Ice Outposts. Uh, maybe I'm trying to think of this race. If there's any, I feel like this is a pretty straightforward race. No, or am I forgetting something? Ice Ice Outposts. What about it? Pretty straightforward because we were just talking about like uh, shortcuts and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's like it's it's got like these like two little lanes that you can go on. So for 200 CC, I think this one for the most part is pretty tame too. It's got one weird turn here and there, but like for the most part, it is relatively tame. And plus it has guardrails throughout mm. most of the way. So if anything, it's the already existing shortcuts that are might be a little bit ill-advised. So I'm very anxious to see what Cuneo does here. He goes for it, almost bumps his head actually, and doesn't even need to land on the second platform already, just getting height from that first one. But yeah, for the most part, this first uh, lap is already over on Cuneo's side at least. And see, there really isn't too too much to really worry about for 200 cc on this track if anything it's just the normal congestion you know of like those the sort of short space and tiny hallways that it has that you had to worry about items but as far as like 200 cc goes i i don't think this one has a uh, too many things specific things to worry about yeah it doesn't seem to be that way meanwhile uh we're gonna watch night <laughs> Go at it with Toad's Turnpike, which probably is a little bit of a nightmare just because sometimes those, uh, all those cars come up really quick to begin with, just even 150cc, so there's a lot more uh, dodging and weaving you probably got to do there, and it looks like Knight's doing just fine. Uh, he is out ahead with, I believe that's a Bowser right on the tail. I don't know, possibly EO, um, maybe someone else. I don't know who else is using Bowser, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Only got a lap left. Meanwhile... Kugi, not in bad shape, is approaching the finish line and going to look like guaranteed third. All right, pretty good. Pretty good. A solid uh, a solid finish for a solid player right yeah, there. He's got Fate and uh, Darky. Dark Darky above him. Uh, uh, that's Darky. Darky. Oh, Once Darky? Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Darky. Different than Dark. Okay. Two, okay. two different. Well, two different. I, 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 sure. Yeah, Dark, okay. So, so Dark is the guy who usually plays Yoshi. And enters yes. the Nintendo circuits. Darky is another member of Pirate Hackers who apparently is like. Oh, you were one. serious? Yeah, no, that's a that's an actual. Yeah, that that was facts I got from. Oh. Uh, the chat, but anyways. Oh, geez. I thought you were memeing. Who's who's in the first place? I can't see. I have it blocked. <laughs> I, I think it, I think it was EO. Let's go EO. I think it was EO. I just I'm just saying that because I saw the Bowser because that's how I identify players now because I'm a professional. Commentary. Well, yeah, I guess not a lot of people use Bowser, but uh, yeah. is everybody in? Okay, yeah, so we're all back in the same lobby again. That's good. Everybody. Oh, that's hype. Darky is in Pyre Hackers, but the 200 uh, team is called Rated R. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, so that's Darky, Oh, that's a, that's a dad joke. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a SpongeBob joke. I appreciate it. That's a SpongeBob joke. It is. I actually didn't catch Why that. couldn't the 11 year old get into the pirate movie? Dude, that's kind of hype. It was rated R. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's, that's a good Squidward, dude. Actually, yeah, I didn't even know I had a decent Squidward. Yeah, that's a pretty good I kind of just discovered yeah, that now. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. No, but yeah, I thought you were memeing. I didn't realize Darkie no, was no, no, a different no, person. No, I thought he just changed his tag or something. I, do, I gotta start adding chat back in um, so that way you could see the things I'm referencing. But yeah, that's a. Uh, Darky is a pirate hacker, and I guess he just really comes out for the 200s. And you can see why, because he's been kind of crushing it, at least as far as the leaderboards go, because uh, he's been at the top every time. Mm, I don't blame him. When I was, like, casually playing Mario Kart, you know, before I even knew about competitive Mario Kart and stuff, I pretty much only exclusively played 200cc after I unlocked everything, because I'm like, why would I want to go back? This is harder. It's fun. It provides more of a challenge, you know? And then I realized, you know, a lot of competitive tournaments mainly run, like, 150, just because, like, it changes the meta in such a different way, but I'm happy to see that there are players who take 200cc like that, and it doesn't surprise me to see that there are some players who might just exclusively want to play 200cc. Darky being introduced I to me definitely just see now. That. Yeah, because some, cause even like Mario Kart 8 in itself could sometimes feel boring at times. I feel like 200cc yeah. cuts that out, and instead of the boring, it's more like getting tilted because it's really hard to control. Yeah, oh, no. any game can get boring Cookie. if you play it too much for the most part. I mean, when you find one that doesn't, you know, that's, that's your dream game, I guess, or you find the game that, you know, you love so much, but it still makes you mad. Oh, that's how no. you know you really love it. I was just no, he's good. Check it out. Check it out. Vroom, got the mushroom. Well, he did get a mushroom there. Matter. The thing is, is uh, he held on to a mushroom for a little bit, thinking he was going to get that shortcut, but uh, got lightnings basically at the exact wrong time. And that, by the way, there's Dark going back to, uh... oh, wait, no. 
No, he mind, I'm still on Waluigi. Dude, I'm, I'm getting mixed. But anyways, yeah, so he held on to the mushroom thinking that he'd be good and could use it at the end, but then he got lightning, then he got over, he got another mushroom, then it was just a mess. Mm, it it happens. really be like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it happens. All right, we got little uh, potentially donut planes here, which I know is... Oh, never mind, going right back to Royal Raceway. I gotta say, a little disappointed uh, considering the fact that there are only 12 races, how many repeats we've had already. We've yeah, seen right? Royal Raceway twice, we've seen Rainbow Road, like, twice. We've seen... Uh, what was the other one we saw twice? There was one other I think we saw twice, I don't remember. Either way, we're on Royal Raceway again. It's got those tight turns, you know, that I'm talking about. And uh, we saw Cuneo do a pretty good job. He actually just did a pretty solid brake drift last time. To get around it, we're probably going to see him do that again. Meanwhile, over on the right, we have Knight switching to Shy Guy. Freezing up a little bit over on his end, but it's nothing in his fault. Oh, that that was a good Shy Guy! There you go. Thank you. You can, you can do some impressions, Chris. Well, we do have a player. Uh, uh, that was actually real. That I was really good. We yeah. have a spectator cam on Darky, so we could watch us a little bit. Um, which is, I, w I man, I wish just, I wish the spectator mode was just available. Yeah, that would be fun. Dude, look at this guy Whoa. go! Jesus. He like stored his drift while somehow drifting on the grass. I don't know how he. Going he yeah, I don't enough. know how he did that. That's incredible. I think maybe he was going fast enough because it's 200 cc and that he like there are like maybe like a few frames maybe or something where he still drifts he's, on the grass. He still has a massive lead, uh, which is actually right. Oh wait, no, never mind. Cuneo is closing the gap, and Takamarth did close the gap. Um, and there's yeah, and there and there's a uh, knight. Knight doing well right now with this black shy guy up here showing you what he can do. Two boom boxes. Cuneo's got one right in front of him. That's actually pretty dangerous. Not sure how this one's going to play out. Looking to use it right there on the way down to try to take out that red shell. But unfortunately, it was mistrojected a little bit by Knight. He thought it was coming in a little bit sooner. Unfortunately for him, that wasn't the case as he rounds up to his third lap here. Cuneo up in second. Looking good, looking good, friends. Still back and forth is Knight right here, and Cuneo still doing a pretty good job up in second. In front of him, I believe, is uh, oh, still no. Darky. What? Oh, Ooh. dude, Knight got totally mixed up in there. He hit that wall, and it just looked like it was like one of those small walls that was just kind of, you know, sort of bad positioning. But it does look like mm. Darky does win another race. Uh, to no one's surprise, apparently, because this is this is Darky's this is zone. Um, so. He was born. In oh my God! Just crawling over the finish line in fourth place after nearly getting second. Uh, it's gonna be Cuneo still sitting at 78 total points. Ico at 99 and Darky at 90. So Ico is technically in the lead still uh, by nine points. He might have another race, um, but you know, like another completed race in addition to uh, Darky. But hard to know. I wish there was like a little race count, like next to the tat. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry, tags, but there's obviously not. Unfortunate. We going back? Oh, he didn't know what to pick. It looked like he's going to go with random here. Some people voting for Baby Park. I don't blame them. It's a different format, Baby Park, <laughs> that <laughs> Please, turn. Please, just avoid me falling off the map for a second. Uh, yeah. That's literally, <laughs> really... that's why I would pick it, 100%. Oh, yeah, I'm actually really hoping we get it because Baby Park before it sort of like takes it kind of takes the skill out of 150 CC makes it just that much harder here though. Oh, he was visibly visibly not into it either. Uh, I, I think he just wanted the relief of of, uh, of uh, Baby Park and I can't blame yeah. him. Can't blame him. I just all. it's going to be so the Baby Park on 200 CC has got to be so visually pleasing. You know, like it's just oh, taking a right turn. He's taking another right turn. Right. But here, tight turns. 11th race, 10th race, and I didn't see what race Kugi's on, but we are getting close to the end of it, and it's only been a half hour, man. This is like... Uh, yeah. I might have, to whip out, might have to whip out the Mario Maker or something if he's still on a stream. Yeah. That's up to you. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. I just came yeah, to, this oh. is what I'm talking about. That's the turn I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, that is a brutal you, you, turn. You can't slow down quick enough because you're already off of a drift. Because you're already, you have to drift beforehand on the turn that comes before it, so you have no choice but to really boost. And then when you do it, you can't really drift because it's too tight there. But that shortcut gets all that much. Yeah, faster that's a that's a good shortcut. Uh, he just caught the the rough a little bit, but oh wow, just barely, <laughs> narrowly avoiding uh, Shakai's bullet bill. I'm actually not sure how that didn't hit, but. Uh, I think it hit him in his recovery frames. Oh, maybe that's what happened. Kind of clashed. And yeah, there we go. There's that same turn. Well, same turn the other side. <laughs> that's brutal. Yeah, you got to slam uh, your brakes on that. 
I love it. Oh my god, yeah. he had to pop the bullet bill because he almost fell yeah, off. Yeah, almost fallen off. Meanwhile, it does look like Kunio is actually doing just fine in this format right now. He's consistently sitting in this uh, like this top three, top four zone. Uh, he might not be finishing there all the time, but as far as the bulk of the race goes, he's, he's been making it happen, and that is really unfortunate timing for that, that star to go off and that lightning to hit. But uh, still hanging in there and getting run over, though. Um, oh, man. Oh god, here's Shikai. another bullet bill. Shikai, I haven't seen Shikai in a while. Yeah, yeah, that's uh Yeah, Shikai was was um entering a lot towards the early of Glintendo circuits and then yeah, I haven't mm -hmm. seen her in a while, but she back. She back, boys. Here we go, third lap for Kunio right here. He's gonna throw this blue shell, see if it does anything, and a bomb in front of him is gonna trip up dark, but then the bullet bill, I don't know who that is, is gonna zoom right past and Kunio in sixth. Oh my yep. goodness, Kugi somehow finishing in second that race, and, and Darky showing yeah. his dominance still at the top. With the Tanuki Mario. Let's go. I don't think I ever see anyone use uh, Tanuki Mario. Of course not. Why, why, is that why? Not, why is that and of course not? Because Metal Mario exists, first of all, and Metal Mario is amazing because everything is chrome in the future, Chris. And second, I don't know, it's just like, it's just like silly. It, like, uh, Mario's in this game like five times. It's like DBZ Fighters up in here. It's like just all this Goku. <laughs> just everywhere, man. I and think well that's such speech. a funny... That's like... I feel like that's like a little kid thing, right? I feel like if you had a little kid design something, they would just take their favorite character, the main character, and just duplicate yeah. it over and over and over. And I love that oh, you just see that with like big gaming developers, including Nintendo. Dude, they're essentially really just funny. big kids. When you get to work in a creative job like that, and yeah. this is coming from somebody, this is coming from somebody who has worked in a writer's room before. It's it's so much fun to get to just have a job where you can just unleash your inner child like that, you know. And that's that's the dream for me as well. It's part of the reason I that's part of the reason I uh, pursue voice work in the way I do. You know, I just want to give the world that same love it gave me. Meanwhile, though, Kugi only on his tenth race actually. Yeah, and he's Kunio here on of, his final. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, a couple more races left. So gonna want to make them count because, uh, yeah, getting towards the end of the road here. Twelve races. They come and they go. You know, I could be wrong. I don't think is sixteen races even an option. I think it, it might is, just yeah. jump up straight to like twenty or something. I don't I'm know. I'm fairly certain it is. Okay, because that would be the next best one. Because it actually is almost seven forty, and Kugi would be finishing in good time since he did start a little late. So sixteen was probably the absolute maximum we'd be able to do for this format. That's true. Yeah, I don't know if you start a couple races behind. If you're going to keep it to an hour, oh, 12 might be it. It's just crazy to see. I can't tell if this is running quicker than 150cc. I feel like obviously it is, but also it feels like the timing is very similar too. So I'm not no, really it is. sure. We'll, we'll see what ends up happening at the end. Uh, it, you know, it is hard. I mean, we'll, I guess we'll time that out. Meanwhile here, Super Circuit right now, Mario um, track. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> circuit. God. Mario Circuit anyway. Track, yes. Mario Circuit Track Race of Vroom Vroom Place. <laughs> the Vroom Vroom Place where the cars go Noom. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the, the one. bottom right. We have Knight. Yeah, that, 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 that's the, you know what that's, I'm talking that's about. That's the one, yeah. Meanwhile, at the bottom right, another character switch by Knight in the Purple Inkling. Rocking second place here at uh, Thwomp Ruins. And at the top right, Kubi is going to finish fourth right Dude. there. Darky with another first, man. Is he going to hit that? I wonder when he started. I wonder if he's going to hit that perfect score. It's sort of looking that way. That would be super hard. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's a... I don't recall seeing him get anything less than eighth. So, oh, I'm sorry, less than first. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said eighth, but what the heck. For, I was, was going to say, first eighth, you know, what's the difference? Yeah, you know, pretty close. Those participation trophies. But yeah, with that, I'm not sure. Um, so I guess we'll find out. I don't know what race he's on, but uh, what what do we say it was again? What's the perfect score? Was it Kugi 180? was on his 10th race, and the perfect score is 180, yes. Okay, yeah, so he's at 120. Meanwhile, let's see where Knight is, because that's a pretty good third place finish there. He's <sighs> just breaking 100, and Fate at 135. So, uh, yeah, between Fate and, by the way, shout out to Fate for being um, apparently equally skilled at 200cc as he is at 150cc. Um, that <gasps> seems to be what's going on here. Did he just... I think that was Knight, wasn't it? Oh, you should check in the standings. Is Knight done? Uh, he might just have one more race. I was gonna say, like, dude, Mount Wario was in that lobby. You had to dip then? Yes. 
Oh, that sucks. Oh, please. 200cc Mount Wario, please. I don't even like the Animal Crossing level. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Can't have shit in Detroit! Nope. <laughs> Whatever. I, I don't live in Detroit. Thank God. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, but, that, but that still. Is, yeah, that is something you ever, cool for. <laughs> you ever hear the three, uh, you ever hear the three, uh, best tourist attractions to do in Detroit? Oh, man. I don't even know if I want to ask. Uh, Just tell me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I was gonna say I'm gonna tell you anyway. Just tell uh, me. The, the first one is get mugged. Okay, yeah. Got a feeling that's where we're headed. Okay, no, no. I, I gotta stop it right now because Kugi's taking the super advanced <laughs> shortcuts right now. He bumped into the wall! Dude, just he bumped into the wall away. and he he bumped into the wall and he still had enough speed. I mean, if you throw a baby in the air and it catches any kind of drift, especially when it's I, going 200 and cc uh, per cc, it's gonna float. You know, it's just gonna sort of catch the the, the jet stream and, and just sort of hover. That That's reminds me of. That reminds me of Friends when, like, Ross was all nervous about being a father, and he had a dream that he was in a football game and that he hiked a baby to, like, a, the quarterback, and the quarterback Dude. just chucked it downfield. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, um, that's a bad That's a bad dream. He was very nervous about being a father. Meanwhile, Kugi, third place here on Big Blue. Good stuff, man. That's This is actually... I, yeah, I'm, that I'm was... ashamed we didn't talk about it. This is a 200cc track right here. Yeah, you already he was, said it. He was they added the F-01s at the same too. time. He was cruising. You just um, fly, man. Like, Big Blue on 200cc just turns you into frickin' Jordan. Like, I believe I can fly. They had to have been made, basically, with that in mind, I would imagine. Honestly. Like, I think they were made for them, especially with the water slide and those shortcuts. Yeah. You just get so much air, just effortlessly. It feels like Mario Kart Wii combined with, like, F-Zero. Oh, okay, so, Kunio is Ooh. in shooting distance of both Fate and but Darky. of Darky. And I think Who's Darky not got second. Get the perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's Fate Look did get that. the points though, so Fate now sit at 150. Uh, meanwhile, Dark at 132. I believe that is going to be your first and second at the moment, from what I can see. And while that's going on, we do have Kugi's 12th race, which should be the last race. I know it doesn't say last race, but that's yeah. the same thing happened last time, that weird thing. Oh, yeah, where it still lets you race or whatever when yeah. the, like, your races are done. So, that's, that's so weird. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't know why I, they would implement that. I don't know that. what's good with that, but. Whatever. Yeah. Ooh, red shell right to the keister. Gonna lock, gonna knock him down to fifth already, but thankfully... See, this is another reason, you know, is that the acceleration would matter so much more, because you're gonna go so much faster just off of knockdowns with the baby characters, you mm -hmm. know, and since your max speed is already so fast, I, I feel like it doesn't really matter. I feel like having the heavy top speed is actually not as good in 200cc, but I could be wrong. Darky and, uh... Darky and Fate are at yeah, the top right now, work. and they're, they're playing heavy, so, I mean, I could be talking out of my ass. But that's just Nintunist. I mean, that's that's the story of my life. You know, I mean, you, you get to you get to go places as a commentator and as a person if you know how to sweet talk your way out of certain situations. Remember, remember that, kids. Anyway, <laughs> we're here on Donut Plains. Not all situations. It doesn't always work. Like I said, the top three things to do in Detroit: one is get mugged, two is to lose your job in the automotive industry. Oh shit! And the third one is to move away from Detroit. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Glove and Boots. I stole that joke from them. One of my favorite uh, YouTube channels. Glove right and there. Boots. Yeah. You'll immediately know why once you see them. Anyway. So. And. Oh, oh that was the first lap. What am I doing? Donut Plains is well, Kugi. Well, yeah, Kugi is actually on his final lap, so. Yes. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Hitting the wall. Hitting it square on two. And that's just too, some 200cc stuff. Sometimes you're just going too quick, you know? And he oh, got shrunk. Oh, I think it is 16 races. Is Oh, it is? Yeah, I think so. So, Glintendo and your graphics. Always wrong. Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, I got to do more 12s. Oh, crap. Okay, so two more, four more 12s over 180. Uh, 192. Oh, yeah, do the math. Do the math. 204. Uh, 216. 220. It's 220, I think. 220. Okay, so that's yeah, the number. Am I, am um, I right? Did I, you check? No, I will. I will. In in a minute, I'm sort of I'm watching the other screens come together as as of course Cunio is is finishing up his thing. But uh, let's see where his thing ended up. So yeah, that's Darky taking another first. Probably pretty mad at that last one. Taking it over Fate, which is who is that's who he's got to beat uh, if he's gonna want to end up winning. He's gonna have to. 
dethrone Fate because Fate has actually been winning like all of the 150cc races too. Um, he's won like the past several weeks. Will he? Will he achieve his fate in stopping Fate's fate and making sure Fate doesn't achieve his fate of yeah. winning 200cc? Yes, maybe, possibly. All right, so yeah, there we go. It does look like 16 races, so... And he's right back to water park. Yeah, so I think 16 races will probably fill the time perfectly then, which means you kind of have to start on time. Um, yeah. Although... That's the whole point of making it an hour now, is that we're trying to encourage the players to really start on time, to, you know, sort of discourage the whole, like, CPU, you know, Farmville thing. Well, to be I honest suppose. with you, these have been running way better with, with the uh, people... Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm laughing at Cunha. <laughs> He says, beating what Fate in 200 CC is like beating Mango in Brawl, which is kind of... <laughs> kind of yeah, I mean, dude's a competitor. Imagine, imagine like, a kid beating Mango in, like, one of the first ever Brawl tournaments and fucking popping off. Yeah, man, I, would, I wouldn't even blame him. I'd be like, yeah, you earned it, kid. Oh, let's go! Let's go! I beat Mango! Yeah, you earned, you earned it, yeah, man. See what he can do, though, as that little roundabout there where it's got those little shells, if you time it right and you go in between the shells, you go so fast at that part that you can just jump across, like, that little gap. And Kugi's not really going for it because I think he realizes it's a pretty... It's, it's kind of high-risk mid-reward because you can go kind of just as fast by going around it, but then you don't really have to turn. Because the whole thing with 200cc is just, like, avoid turning as much as you can. Yeah, it's that's dangerous. true. That is definitely true. Um, the turns are definitely what kills you. Yeah. Um, Ribbon Road out here as well, and Kugi's gonna finish first over at the top left, just narrowly tripping over that banana right there at the end. Good stuff to him over here on Water Park. And while at the bottom right, you got Knight with another character switch to Bowser Jr., looking like he wound up finishing sixth in that race. My goodness. With uh, Baby Daisy, Iggy, Wendy, and whoever that Waluigi was. It was too quick for me to read. Uh, dark. dark. Yeah, it was, it was dark. dark, yeah. Oh, you think darkness is your ally. <laughs> you merely adopted the dark. <laughs> I was born in it. Oh, wow, that was... Molded by it. I think that was Darky flying. Oh, okay, yeah, no, there he is, there he is. I thought he just flew off the side. Uh, so there's an opportunity here for, for uh, Kunio. Darky versus Dark, the ultimate champion to find out who that is was the actually, darkest. That was really close. Um... Cunio nearly passing Dark at the end. Oh, I'm sorry, Darky at the end. Darky though, just he's on it, man. He is on this 200 CC game. This is this is his, this is zone, and that is going to be him moving up just a little bit because I did see uh, Fate coming in third place. So they're going to even out the scores just a little bit between those guys. Still lots of work left to do though. Um, so Looking now good. There's two more races. TikTok clock. Coming out on the part of Kugi. Now here, I, I feel like this isn't. Oh, pfft. whoops! <laughs> it's just funny for me every time. It's like it's like America's funniest whoops. home videos humor. Like it's just like watching somebody do the same thing over and over and over again, but then everybody laughs as if they haven't seen it like a billion times before. That's why they use laugh tracks. Uh, yeah. I need to get a laugh track for here. Oh my god, that'd be so hype. Yeah, dude, I think that might actually be a thing I have to do. Do you remember the Hanna Barber cartoons? Of course. When they put freaking laugh tracks oh, over course. cartoons. <laughs> Why would they do that? Because they wanted it's like you to know on the laugh. How like the live, know? the live audience would be, you know, just people <laughs> who are sitting in like a boardroom. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. Oh wow, <laughs> get nipped. Kugi is surprised that Parada got a full mouthful there uh is gonna actually I don't even know who that prana was it was from a waluigi so probably dark i'm thinking can't be it's too sure it's the sick twisted joke of waluigi attacking people with a piranha plant because that's what got into smash instead of him yeah i mean he's gotta, he gotta justify himself somehow you know yeah i know this was like two years ago but i just Piranha still Plant got into about Smash it, before. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, still thinking. Yeah. I, I never stopped. Piranha Plant got into Smash before Waluigi did. That so was did a total. Daisy. That was anyway. definitely a troll pick. Anyways, that was I was a, furious at the time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it'd be like you said. Yes. Anyways, moving on. And Kugi with another W here. Yes. Yeah, boy. Looks like he's finally finding the footing, and that is going to be Knight right behind him. Dark coming in third. 
And, uh, Night and... No, Night finished second. Oh, did you, did you say yeah, Night yeah, or Yeah, yeah, Night, no, Dark and third. Okay. Meanwhile, at the left here, we got Animal Crossing. One of my personal least favorite tracks. I find it to be quite boring, personally, but that's just me. But, uh, it doesn't matter how, uh, entertaining or boring it is. These racers are gonna have to race on it regardless. And Kunio, trying to seek out this W right here. He's got the... Oh, it's close. Whoa. That, that, did you see that? Yeah, that was a little strange looking. Look out for that blue shell. There's Dude. some more shells, and just gonna pile it on top of whoever that was. Oh my god! Ooh. Just passing fate at the last moment. Uh, just ahead of Scott 64 as well. Uh, and Shikai coming in second, and was that Darkie in first? Was that, I, I missed it, probably. It's always, it's always so. Darkie. It's literally always Darkie in first. It's a safe bet. Yeah. Dude, that was crazy, man. Just narrowly, just, it just tapping it in. Just tap it in. Here we go. 15th race. Right at the end. 10 minutes left. Uh, so, yeah, I think Kugi did start on the later side. So, yeah, there you have it. 200 yeah, cc, it 16 races an hour. It works. If you do the thing and you do it right and you don't fuck it up, it works. Yeah, it works. It works. It just works. But here we are on N64 Rainbow Road for the third time we've seen tonight, actually. We've seen this track a lot. And, uh,. So it's it's another one that's really not bad for 200 cc. You know this road, this rainbow road, th this road is like a track in general. Is also just very easy. It's very very wide, and it's got like the guardrails as well. You know this is not like when you think rainbow road and you think 200 cc, you think oh this is gonna be terrifying, but no, nah, not not N64 rainbow road. It's a very simple track with very e wide easy turns. This track was all about like the presentation. Oh yeah. Rather than the difficulty, you know, like it's pretty clear like what Nintendo had in mind when they were designing this course. Like they, they were trying to appeal to like nostalgia and whatnot, and also just to make it pretty. They just wanted you to ride on a rainbow. Pretty much on, on their new Nintendo 64 console with the beautiful polygon graphics. I love it. So it does look like Kugi is doing. Uh, oh no! Right before the finish line, is he gonna be? Able, oh, he's good. He's, he's, he's good. He is good. Look at him laugh about it. Yeah, ha ha ha! As he laughs I'm it the off. Best. He's like, "I'm the best." Oh, and he beat. Uh, he beat Dark here. Yeah, beating Dark. That's a good win. And coming out on top over Knight too. Knight is sort of on the low and racing pretty well, consistently towards the top, the entire night. So getting that sort of edge over him with one race left, at least for Kugi anyways, I'm not sure where Knight is, if he's done. He might be done, honestly. Because it looks like Kunio is also done. Okay, okay, no, Knight is Knight's still in it. All right. There we go. So this is probably the last race for both of them. That's right, yeah, because yeah, Knight had, he ducked out a race to fix a couple settings. So yeah, that probably evens up where they are. Uh, that is gonna be uh, just just Knight just dancing with um, I don't know who that is. Who's some me? blonde kid? Who's who's me is this just that some, I'm not paying some... attention to and I should be? Oh no! Oh. Oh, it's no. dark. I'm dumb. Oh no no no! Wow, no, look at this, no, dude. No, Knight, no, dark, no. Kugi, and Darky going to Neo Bowser City. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really. This is the worst track in the game oh, for 200 CC, and you can. And anyone watching, you probably already understand why. In case you don't, it's because of that final section before the final drift turn. You know the one I'm talking about. The one that's very easy to fall off on on 150. Oh yeah. This is gonna be really, really ugly. I'm actually really happy we got this track. But check it out. Okay, he actually slowed down here, but we're going to see what Kugi is going to do here. Building up that max speed. He's going to have to break drift a little bit right here to get around. That was actually pretty good. You know, his speed slowed down because he got hit by an item before, so he wasn't at max speed already going into that section. That was pretty much almost as good as that could have really gotten for him. It's dangerous, but it's not the most dangerous, I suppose. But now he's up at that max speed again. You have somebody falling off on the side right there. And uh, Knight out here looking to... Looking to keep himself locked in in this race, too. Already all the way up to second with, uh, with a Kugi right behind him at third. Let's see what happens when they go up to the danger zone. Yeah, this is, uh, this is stress, man. This is definitely big-time stress. And they're both hanging in there, though. I mean, I know it's only a race with four people, technically. But, you know, these are all probably... Oh, God! <laughs> all these guys are probably in the top eight today. Um, so, yeah, dude, that's that, that turn. It's like, it's borderline, dude. Right. It's so hard. 
Like, I remember for so long when I was like, uh, I don't know how old I was when uh, the first Mario Kart, uh, when, when Mario Kart 8 came out on the Wii U. And just when, to, when they dropped 200 CC and just getting so frustrated on this track specifically. That's actually good. Kugi, like, he got hit, like, you know, at a pretty good time to actually get hit because then he's just not going to be going as fast around that corner and he'll speed up. And then he gets a bullet bill in third place because yeah, he's Kugi. Bill. Uh, okay, wow, yeah, he's gonna finish with that third place bullet bill. Uh, meanwhile, that is dark. Dark. Uh, that's night coming in second. Wait, hold on. I want to go. Yes, this is where I want to be. Yeah, so that's darky, night, Coogie, and oh, dark taking a little bit of a hit. Must have gotten maybe mixed up on that turn we were talking about. Um, hard to say at this point because we didn't really get to see him a whole lot in that race. But I think, uh, dude, I think that, that was it. That was like, uh, Action-packed, huh? Action-packed indeed. 200cc was definitely fun to watch and definitely very fun to commentate as well. I'm happy we found some way to differentiate uh, Tuesdays a little bit better, not even just for us, but more so for the actual players, which is what the circuit is all about at the end of the day. You know, they found something that, you know, they would actually enjoy a lot more. Like, I put a lot of faith in battle mode. I thought a lot more people were going to be into that than wound up being, but they just weren't, and that happens. It's okay. Sometimes I can understand you put why. Yeah, sometimes you put dubs in an event and people just don't like dubs. They say it just hogs up the bracket. Whatever. Dub sucks, man. Yeah. I mean, it's fun, but, like, it sucks. Yeah, it kind of sucks. All right, so uh, while I'm waiting for my Switch to boot up so I can get the results, we'll just kind of cheat off of Kugi's page at the moment. So it did look like Fate was in first place. A Darky in second place. Wow. Uh, what was the math on that? 220, you said? I, th that... I think so, yeah. All right, so, yeah, really not too bad there. 195 and 192. Uh, and it does look like Fate um, holds on to his reign, dude. He's he's just got he's got the Glentendo circuit by the short hairs. He is just winning literally every single race and uh, doing it quite expertly and make, kind of making it look easy if I, if I'm if I'm being honest. Because yeah, here we go. Now I got the scores. So this is definitely it because I'm pretty sure all these people are done. There's only four minutes left, so that is Fate. Just barely going to miss uh, that 200 point mark by 5 points. Darky really not that far behind. Darky is a pirate hacker. Comes along with Knight who did take 4th. Um, so there you go. Those are two very competitive 200cc players on the professional level. Um, taking 2nd and 4th. And Kugi doing a fine job at 156. Adjusting to the new speeds uh, just fine. As is Kunio and Aiko who had a little bit of an early lead. Uh, Earlier in the bracket is going to finish at 6th, the Dark at 7th, Takamarth 8th, and Eo at 9th. And I'm going to say that is, oh, tying with Sweet Lou at 9th. Uh, and I'm going to guess that that's, uh, yeah, that's definitely it. No points moving there. So that's it. And Tunist, uh, you know, hold on. Where, where, where are we at? Here, here we yeah, are. Where we at? Where we at? Here, here, there we at. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Fun. Oh, dude, did I dismiss Knight's last race? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it was no. just him. It was him, Dark, and yeah, anyways. So I'll just I probably reset. didn't miss too much. It, it was Mario well, Kart. Uh, no, it was no, Mario that's, that's going to change. That's going to change some of the results. So I'm going to get a reset on that. All right. Uh, it was. Um, they finished what, right was, on the buzzer. It's, seven, it's seven, 7.58. Oh, nice. It was only Mario. Uh, uh, Mario Kart Stadium, which is a pretty simple track. Nothing that really changes 200cc too much besides, you know, the actual speed. It doesn't really create, like, too many more shortcuts or anything, if I'm not mistaken. So, if there was any track to, you know, mess up and skip accidentally, it was that one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel too bad. I just kind of... I not I didn't realize there's two races behind. Anyways, that's okay. So, I am going to get one quick refresh on the scores, because that is going to make a difference in the scores, because those guys were both... Um, both like in the top four, so let's let's check it out here. Uh, yeah, there it is. There's Darky. Oh, breaking two hundred, two oh seven. That's the pro taking it out of Faith's hands. Look at that. Yeah, clap, clap it up. That's Darky performing as uh, advertised uh, from Knight himself. Or I should say, teammate Knight himself. So yeah, that's that's going to be the uh, the main implications there. And that Iko sneaking was was Iko at sixth place before? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, 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 definitely. definitely. But that is Knight. Wow, just a point off from third place. Kugi hanging on at 156. So yeah, your top uh, top three is going to be Darky, 
uh, who is uh, pro 200cc, is going to be Fate, who's been winning all these Nintendo circuits, except for this one. That is the first 200cc. Uh, Kugi making his comeback, uh, coming in a strong third, Knight at fourth, and Intunis yawning. <laughs> I, for, I, for, I forgot you. I forgot you could still. I see can me. see all the things. <laughs> you can see all the things. All seeing. Damn it! Thought I could get away with that one. <laughs> uh, but there you go. That is the first ever 200 Tuesday 200 CC, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I was really looking forward to this one, actually. Just not just because it's different, but also just because like. I just wanted to see, like, good players, you know, have silly things happen to them. It's always fun to... It's, it's one of those things that's always fun to watch. You know, comedy, my friends, is rooted in misery. They say that because it's true. Watching other people eat shit, it's just, it's just great. It's just a great thing, you know? Yeah, I mean, when you eat shit, it's not as fun. Also, shout-outs to Jazzy G for the sub. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, Jazzy, thank you so much, thank yeah. You, Jazzy, you are the best. It's not um, my channel, but yeah, Jazzy, thank you. Also, thank you for the few of you guys uh, just chilling, vibing with us during 200cc. I'm pretty happy with how the day went. Um, yeah, yeah these, these, the streams, they come and they go. They're literally an hour long. We've been live for 55 minutes. I guess we started five minutes late. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Actually, I already you just told, you told I everyone. told everyone. It's, it's on the internet forever. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's all we got. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, if you want to, we could start to have some little bit of advertisement. Oh, yeah, right man. Here. So this is what we had today. Uh, this is what you just witnessed if you were watching uh, 200 cc's. Don't be fooled by the 12 races on the banner. It's actually 16. Uh, but it does definitely last from 7 to 8 p.m. And then per our usual schedule, every single Sunday is regular Glentenda circuits, which is actually 12 races. You could totally regard that 12 races in the... On, on the advertisement there and that is a format that is probably here to stay and I for one am happy to see it Same. but uh, if you're looking for some stuff that isn't Mario Kart well guess what we got smashed every single Thursday uh, nothing new here uh, this is these these times are Eastern so if you are looking to enter these brackets on Thursday you have to register by 6 30 p.m. Eastern time anything later will probably uh, not be seated and all that kind of thing so just a heads up uh, those brackets have been pretty good, though. We've been averaging probably about, like, 80 people or so. Um, it, it's a good time, man. Uh, regardless of what you think about Smash Wi-Fi, it's fun. But that's all yeah. I got for ads. Yeah, yeah, and if Ultimate's not your thing, I mean, like you said, we also got Melee over there as well. New yeah. and improved netplay as well. I have Slippy. I've been playing it a lot. It's very, very fun. I mean, I started with Smash 4 and Melee and PM. I played all of them, like, back in 20-whatever when <laughs> that when those went down and it's true what they say about slippy it really it literally feels like offline melee it's amazing That's honestly cool. and it's so simple very easy to install compared to like the older net plays as well it's just like the whole like online matchmaking stuff it's built into the actual freaking uh iso it's crazy honestly like how simple it is that is and crazy how amazing it is that one dude made such a better net play for a game from 2001 than Nintendo drops in their modern games. But in uh, in case you're wondering about the different aspects of Smash in terms of uh, the current state of the scene and whatnot, as I and rest assured, I assure you, there are plenty of people working behind the scenes to reform it right now. If you would like to, I released a podcast recently talking about uh, the current issues plaguing the Smash community, what with... Um, uh, what with sexual misconduct and inherent sexism, Chris Elodian, it's looking like he's trying to pull it up right now. You can see my hair looked really good that day. You're gonna find out in a second. I'm actually, I'm so hyped. My sister, she's been giving me quarantine haircuts, and she's doing it better than my old barber did. It's like incredible. But here you go, Chris is somehow very confused by the same thing he's done a million times. I don't I know why he's- I wasn't, I wasn't prepared, okay? Why Look, were you not you are, prepared? Okay? Your been, oh my here, god, I love, I, your videos, I love okay? myself. I Jeez, love myself, dude. dude. Right. Holy god. Look at that. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, there here's Nintunist the content. Go ahead and check him out. YouTube.com forward slash Nintunist. Uh, he's putting in that work on the content end, and anytime people are doing that, I'm gonna support. So be sure to check that out. And then obviously, uh, if you want to keep up with these tournaments, everything else, go ahead and follow youtube.com forward slash masterhand gaming. Um, if you like the videos or the, the content, don't be shy, man. Give it thumbs up. Uh, do all that fun stuff. It does help us in the algorithm quite a bit. Uh, starting off like organically with with like tournament content is is pretty tough, but honestly, things have been trending in a good direction. Channels have knocked the world over, but all the support is very helpful and very appreciated. So, 
Uh, I want to thank everybody who's already doing that and all the people who are even thinking about it. But with that, uh, we are going to say good night, and we'll see you on Thursday for Smash. But if you don't play Smash, I guess we'll see you on Sunday, right? I guess so. Alrighty, everyone have a very nice night, and we will catch you later. Good night, boys and girls.